This is Twit. All right, guys, have we talked about the framework Risk Five main board? Have we talked about the fact that it's actually now available? We talked about it being announced. I don't think we mentioned it being available. Yeah, okay. It is it is now available. The Deep Computing Risk 5 main board for the Framework Laptop 13 is now available and you can get the main board for just $199, which is really interesting. Um they also have um I don't have the link to it here, but with this, they've also now started selling a kind of bare bones framework 13 that does not have a main board in it. And that way you can get both of these things and put it together yourself um, for it ends up being, I'm trying to remember un, un, it was several hundred dollars under a thousand dollars. I don't remember exactly what it ended up being. Uh, it was enough. <laughs> it was enough that I was looking at it going, man, should I buy this? And it was also enough that I decided, no, I can't spend that much money right now. <laughs> So that is now available, which is really interesting. Um, but I've got a second link here off to an, an X.com user, the, the, the social media network previously known as Twitter. Uh, Lori Wired, uh, security researcher and otherwise Linux geek, I believe, uh, who says don't buy the, risk, the framework Risk V board. Uh, no hate, but the U74 cores it's based off of are really old and don't support vector instructions. If you're looking for a RISC-V dev board in 2025, you want something like the SpaceMIT X60 or the Zonti C908 cores. And then she gives a couple of options here, like the Banana Pi BPIF3 and the Can MV K230 are good boards to play with that actually have this newer spec. and. So it's um, this is this is kind of like the the x eighty six sixty four levels that we've talked about in the past. You know, where, where some of them have an extension and others don't. Uh, I'm, tr- I'm trying to remember what 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 was it? What was it? What's the name of the extension that like the original Pentium and then the Pentium two had? Um, I've MMC is what's coming to mind, and that's totally not right. I don't remember what it was actually called. Um, you know the the the, right. f- the fancier. I'm drawing a blank. The fancier math. Oh um, well, I can't remember what it is. The yeah, math code processor. Not not the math code processor. It's the, the it's instructions built into it to be able to do more math. Um, MMX. MMX. Yeah, Keith says MMX. Thank, thank you. Thank you, Keith. Uh, SSE is one of the other ones. Yeah, there's been a couple of these different uh, extensions that get added, and so this is sort of the same thing in Risk Five, where they have added one of these extensions, one of these sets of instructions to the um to the processor to these new designs and so you know you you can you can buy the old 386 equivalent but they're making the pentiums now (laughs) so uh that was interesting to call out if you use the deep computing risk five main board and you run deep seek on it have you gone off the deep end (laughs) ha hmm (laughs) swimming in the deep end of the pool at least yeah uh wow oh goodness anyway dad. i gotta have a dad joke in there i one. know i know so <laughs> i uh i was all i was i was very interested in this framework but uh risk is moving a little bit faster than framework is at this point mm. and so maybe maybe this is not the uh this is not the risk board that you're looking for uh, I guess at the same time, I hope it does do well because I would like to see more experimentation like this, particularly in the uh, the framework space. You're saying we shouldn't take a risk on this one. Yeah, yeah. Skip this one. It's it's too risky. It's too risky by not being risky enough. <laughs> it's just not enough risk. Risk isn't risky enough. Wow. Hey, it's Leo Laporte. I hope you've enjoyed this little clip from our programming at twit.tv. For more, visit our website, twit.tv, or subscribe in your favorite podcast client. There's also a link somewhere down there.